And therefore, this is something which cannot be read, but it just shows one of the interface that is used by one of the journals for logging in and submitting articles. When you go into the respective web pages, you see different modalities of logging in. There are some instructions there, I don't know which you can download and you can log in and whatever. So it's just an interface. One important aspect which I have to talk about, do not submit the same manuscript to more than one journal. You may be tempted to say, because I'm increasing the chances of my publication being published, let me try to submit it to three, four different journals at the same time. So that if I fail with these people, maybe these other people will agree. You know what will happen? The moment they discover that you are submitting the same information to different journals, what will happen is they will retract all of them. And this is what happened to these people. These people submitted the same article to different journals. And when they discovered, they published them again. But this time they wrote the word retracted. Now, if they write the word retracted all over the place, that's dangerous. Then your career is a bit tarnished. So it means you have to do it sequentially. You start today, you submit it to a particular journal, you wait. And sometimes you can do some research. If you read any article, they will tell you date of submission, date of revision, date of acceptance. So if you read the time intervals between all these three dates, you can see the average time they take to have your article published. Some three months, some six months. There are some weird ones, two years. Those are weird ones because you can't have to wait for two years for your work to come out. And therefore, if you find out it, you have to wait for two years, don't send your article there because they'll be wasting your time. You write to them, you tell them, I've been waiting for the past one year, nothing is happening. I am now officially requesting you to give me back my article and I'm not going to publish anything with you. I'm sending it elsewhere. If they are good people, they will send you everything and say, leave us alone. Then you continue the business. Sometimes you tell them those strong words, they keep quiet. And if they keep quiet, you can never be sure whether they have agreed. And the funny thing is, this, these things are very weird. Because there is no coordinated mechanism. You can send out an article to a particular journal. You have been waiting for six months, nine months. And you think maybe either it was lost within the review process or they are just lazy, nothing is happening. Then you start working on something else. All of a sudden, you see one of the issues, it is there. They didn't even ask you to read the proofs. They just published it. They aren't even communicating with you, which is very bad. Because you are supposed to be given the proofs to read before it is published. But sometimes it happens. It happens to journals that are not keen. Journals that are keen, that can never happen. Because all the time there's communication. Your article now has been reviewed by two reviewers. We are waiting for the third reviewer. Your article is now being reviewed by the third reviewer, waiting for the fourth one. The decision is soon to be made regarding your article. There's communication all the time. So that by the time when decisions are made, you're also aware of the decisions. Other journals which are hosted by weird editors, then you can run into trouble because you don't know what is happening. So the point here is try to be patient. Try to be patient in the sense that when you send out things, you shouldn't imagine that you're going to get answers immediately. No. And there are different mechanisms, of course. There is what you call fast tracking and regular tracks. If you are having something which is very interesting, they will always fast track it. And they will tell you, your work seems to be very interesting. We would like to publish it within a week. And you have to be standby to receive communication from us as regards revisions and guard proofs. Then you have to be alert to wait. And therefore you think your work is good. But if your work is not fast tracked, you have to wait the regular process. Three months, six months. Yeah. And it's acceptable because what do you do? So usually when you send out the abstract or the, maybe the, the manuscript, it will be sent to reviewers. As I said in the beginning, you can have three reviewers. Usually you have a minimum of three reviewers. But some journals have four reviewers. And you can see that it's not voting. Because if you have four reviewers, two have agreed, two have not agreed, therefore maybe undecided. No, it is the editor who decides. That according to what I see, according to all these reviews, this paper rejects. But of course, even yourself, when you are asked to review an article, at the end, they ask you to give a conclusion. Do you think this has to be published? 
or do you think we have to reject it? If most of the reviewers say reject, 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 there's no chance. But if most of the reviewers say, okay, maybe you publish it after extensive revision, then it can be revised. So in the example that I gave you, which is from the Global Health Action, they said, please rearrange your manuscript according to the following format. Or maybe you add in this information. You didn't add in acknowledgements, so you must add in acknowledgements. You didn't put in author's contributions. So this one was not indicated in this particular manuscript. So they must put it. Then disclosure statement. If not relevant, state none of the authors have any competing interests. This is becoming very important. Declaration of conflict of interest. And you have to sign a form and attach it. So all the authors must sign a form of declaration of conflict of interest and attach it there. So these are all reviews. So you must address all these. And after you address all these, you submit the revised manuscript and consider the revisions carefully and modify the article if you agree. And for example here, maybe I should give somebody to read this. A decision of major revision has been made on rebuilding research capacity in fragile states, the case of Somali Swedish collaboration. So it means the decision was major revision. This is good news. The rest scenario could have been rejection. Actually, when you get this, you celebrate because there is a chance of being of having your article being published. Because the moment you address all these things and you send it back, it will be published. So, if you decided to review the work, please upload two versions of the manuscript. That is one, a clean version and a version with track changes. The document with track changes should indicate those sections within which changes have been effected. In the MS Word track changes mod, or highlight if you would wish to do so. Please also include a rebuttal letter which contains point by point responses to editors or reviewers comments. Incomplete resubmission will either delay the editorial process or may lead to rejection. So they are giving very clear instructions. So it means you are supposed to show each page where the request was made and what you have exactly done for each page. And line. Sometimes, of course, these people are very weird. They put numbers for each line from line number one to the last line of the entire text so that you can see and say where you've made the changes. So they are trying to be clever to make sure that you do not escape. <laughs> proofs. The proofs. Sometimes they also go get proofs. This is the exact layout of how your paper will look like when it is published. The exact layout of how your paper is going to look like when it is eventually published. And therefore, they will have to send you proofs. And when they send you the proofs, you have to read them. You read them, and when you read them, you try to see whether they have put everything right. And they didn't skip anything. They did not hide anything. They did not skip anything. Everything is just okay. That's the purpose of the proofs. Meaning that this is the way your article is supposed to appear in the final version of the issue of that journal. They are giving it to you so that you can see that everything is in order. And you know what happens? Sometimes if they do not give it to you, you can have a situation where the paper comes out published, but they have skipped some sentences. They can also make mistakes. They skip some sentences. Then you get embarrassed. People think it is you who did it, while it is them. So you have to be very careful when you are reading the proofs. Because at the end of the day, you don't like to be associated with their mistakes. And therefore, you read through the proofs and try to respond very swiftly. These were old author queries where these were some questions that were sent with the Gary proofs to show exactly certain areas that the editor was not very clear. So they were asking some questions. Number five, is it a city? A state, country, or manufacturer, or verify whether any editing is intended. You see, what sometimes happens is when the people in the first world find out that this article is coming from Africa, they give it to an English specialist. So the English specialist goes through it and they change some words, thinking that we don't know English. So the words they put in are not the words that you want. Yes, they change meaning. Sometimes, if you say, I interviewed peasants in a certain village, then they change. Did you mean farmers? So they put in farmers. I interviewed farmers in a certain village. 
But appease and seek what farmers here. They are not. And therefore you tell them, return my original initial word. Peasants, not farmers. Then they return the initial word. And therefore that's why it is important to make sure that you read through the entire Gary proof to ensure that what is being represented is okay. So this is just a proof. Meaning that this is the way it is supposed to look like at the end when it is finally published. And therefore, you have to go through this proof and see that everything that is presented is actually correct. So after printing, of course, we are imagining that your paper has been published. And when we talk of printing, it is either in soft copy or hard copy. These days, of course, hard copies are becoming less important. So you have soft copies all over the place. But it is regarded as printing. Because they appear the way they are supposed to be appearing in a printed version. And of course, after your article is printed, I think you have to celebrate. It's a reason for celebration. I can tell you that just like the way you get excited, for example, when you pass your examination, you also get excited when your paper gets published. Because you have done something good. You have made a contribution to knowledge and science. In the old days, it was a secret. People never knew. But these days, things have changed. If somebody does a lot of work, it's no longer a secret. People always see. So distribute copies to all co-authors and other colleagues. Of course, they are available in the internet and people can always read them. And keep copies for those who may request for them. This is if you had requested for printed copies. And people still request for them. Because printed copies, they come out just like the way they would appear in a printed version of the issue. Which is much better than having them printed on your print. So they are good. Gross the material and whatever, good. So you keep them. Sometimes you distribute them. And you shouldn't distribute everything. And if I come to ask you about your paper 10 years to come, you have nothing. Just refer me to the link in the web page. That's not very good. So prepare yourself as you may still have answer queries in letters to the editor because we said who is the ultimate reviewer remember the ultimate reviewers for your article are the persons who are going to read your article and they will always ask you questions if your work was very interesting you will get many questions if your work was very interesting you will have minimal questions if your work was very bad and the editors didn't see that it was bad but they sent it out you will also get a lot of questions because people will be attacking you saying this is not what we expected so after having said that i would like to announce that the end of one paper is the beginning of the next one this is if you do not have any parallel papers going on at the same time but if you were dealing with only one paper then the end of one paper is the beginning of the next one and the cycle starts all over again. I hope we have covered a number of issues as regards writing a scientific paper for publication and as I said in the beginning of the session all the master students at the Muhibi University of Health and Health Sciences are supposed to develop a manuscript at the end of their dissertation work and I hope you utilize the knowledge and skills you have obtained from today's session to be able to publish your work in a journal of your choice. In case you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me and the other members of academic staff as may be required. Thank you. <laughs>